Hello and welcome to this third tutorial on um, digital signal processing using MATLAB. So in this particular tutorial, we'll be talking about time reversal operation of digital or discrete signal. So given that um, a digital signal is denoted by x of n, the time reversal operation is then denoted by x of minus n. So in this time reversal operation, basically the time axis is multiplied by minus 1. That leads to reversal of the time axis and hence uh, also leads to change in location of the uh, amplitudes. So as you can see, um, this, uh, so once you multiply this time axis by minus 1, so this uh, 3 value in time will now change to minus 3 and that means the sample on 3 will uh, switch to minus 3. And the sample on uh, location 2 will switch to minus 2 and the sample on location 1 will switch to minus 1 and so on. Um, that essentially means um, a time axis is reversed. that is multiplied by mul mu minus 1. And B, uh, the amplitudes seems to have flipped their, uh, 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 amplitude variable seems to have flipped, right? So if you look at it, this 3 is on left modes, most side uh, location but now this, sam this sample has switched to uh, the rightmost location after time reversal and the second amplitude which is 2 is on second uh, leftmost location uh, but uh, here it is on second rightmost location and, and similarly uh, other samples have switched their locations in the same way so the, on, a, on amplitude axis, the time reversal seems to have flipped from left to right. Right, so now we can, so once we have uh, decoded this whole operation and divided it into, it into two steps. Let's see how we can perform this operation on MATLAB. So I've already uh, defined this signal um, in MATLAB and uh, plotted it on uh, uh, MATLAB. So let's close all the all the irrelevant figures. Let's stem it again. So this is the plot, okay. So now let's uh, perform the first uh, uh, operation. In the first step, we need to multiply the original time axis by minus one. So we do that by using this command and now we get this new time axis. So this time axis has reversed the uh, signs of each values in n1 but the thing is it should start from minus 3 it should be the it should the axis should also be reversed so, so to do that let's flip this uh, axis let's use this flip lr command in uh, matlab this is the built in function in matlab that flips the uh, vector uh, it flips the values uh, from left to right so let's do that and Let's store these values in N1. So we have this new uh, flipped uh, uh, or rather reversed time axis uh, that requires these two steps. First, we multiply N with a minus 1 and then we flip the uh, axis. And the second step is to flip the amplitudes from left to right. So we use, we use the same command uh, on amplitudes. Uh, so 
we define this new amplitude variable x1 by flipping left to right the original amplitude variable right and there it is so we have defined this new uh, flipped or rather time reverse signal and let's stem it now so n1 comma x1 and let's keep the previous uh, plot by allotting a different figure to this plot okay so there it is this is the flipped signal and this is the original signal right so as you can see sample 5 here is on 3 and here it is on minus 3 at this sample value uh, 2.5 is at 2 here uh, but here it is on minus 2 and so on right so this is how we we flip uh, or rather we perform time reversal operation now let's make a function uh, so to make a function we open this m file we use this keyword function we uh, name it we call it um, time reversal and we so the argument of this operation are n this which is the time index of the original signal and x which is the amplitude variable and the output would be the new time index n1 and the new amplitude uh, variable x1 so now we get this new variable n1 we generate it by multiplying n with uh, minus 1 and we know we need to flip this uh, this resulting uh, result of this 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 multiplication right so we use this flip lr command and similarly we uh, uh, flip the amplitudes from left to right using the same command uh, and there it is we have uh, reversed the signal Let, let's plot it you can you can uh, comment it later so let's plot the um, original signal first um, x right so there it is now let's save it as time reversal because the, we should to run it as function we need to save the file m file as the name of the function right so we have already defined n and x so we can straight away use it so let's copy that okay and now let's run it on command window. Uh, so as we, as I've just told you, we have already did the already defined n and x, so we don't need to define n and x uh, again. Uh, but if you have not defined a signal, then first define this n and x, the, the your original signal, and then run it. So there it is. Um, these are the plots. This is the original uh, signal, and this is the folded one and here you can see the output the original signal is uh, this one and this is the flipped signal right so uh, that's how you perform folding operation in matlab